cow. I don't think... I don't... <laughs> I don't think that's a cow. Look, I'd have to get Laura Croft to confirm for us, but I'm pretty sure she would agree that's not a cow. Yeah, all right, everybody. Welcome to the Indie Showcase with the Birdman. I am, said Birdman. This here is, uh, Tom, the post girl. Or maybe, maybe it's Tom. Maybe it's not Tom the way us uh, Americans usually say Tom. Maybe it's like Tom York from Radiohead. Either way, I'm just throwing a suggestion out there. That said, this right here is an intriguing game that I saw based on the Steam page itself. Where we're dealing with a, well, let's call it a point and click game, right? Except this game features itself as a walk and stock game. Nothing can possibly go wrong. It seems we had ourselves delivered to the post office. Um, Tom Stone? All right, let's uh, see what we got here. Walk over to chapter one, and you okay, Sean. Wanna take a peek inside? Hold space to take a peek inside. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I want to look around first and see if I can interact with other things first, such as this here. What do we got over here? Oh, jeez. Okay, you got to hold it. Gotcha. Peek as much as you desire until you want to make a decision. Oh, I see. Okay. So you got to hold it. You hold it. Oh, hi! Was, was, was that a child? Why? Wait a minute. Can I show? Oh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? And then the one on the bottom left is like having a seizure, maybe? Or... There's another one over here, too. There's a happy turd, there's trit, and there's anti. Oh, hey, frogman. What's up, Doug? You, uh, you been smoking a lot, or what? What? Oh! Are we done? Oh, no, no, we had the initial one that I... The first one that told me to peek into, which I skipped out on. So here we have... Are you like the mother of these kids? Hi. And she's over here having a beer in the middle of the day. Obviously a chain smoker. I mean, considering what's waiting for her in the living room and the doghouse. Well, let's, um... What will you choose? Press tab to switch. Peeking implies opening the package you're meant to deliver safely. Delivering implies bringing the package to its destination as you should. Press tab to switch, press tab, okay. So, do we deliver the package or do we take a peek inside of the package? Alright, look, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna deliver this. No. I'm, I'll deliver this. Now, where does one deliver? Just to the front door? I'm kind of curious to see what happens, like, if we could go inside. Oh, I, I knock by hitting space over here. Open the door. What the hell is happening inside of it? What did I deliver? I delivered dog food. That one's over there licking its balls. All right, well, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we learn about it later. I don't know. Let's go on with the chapter two arson, huh? Okay, so let's take a look around here first. Do not knock or ring. Chicks are very sensitive. Indeed, they are. They can be. Apparently, we got one of the farmers here. Just a blazing one. Along with a fellow chicken by the looks of it. Yo, dude. I'm so high. Fucking chicken's talking to me, dog. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, same one. Okay. And look through there. But we could peek through here. 
And here it seems uh, one of the farmers is uh, it looks relatively friendly with that chicken. For some reason, I, I get like little misfortune vibes from this, you know, just because we're playing the role of presumably a little girl here just in the middle of like a wacky ass world cow. I don't think I don't <laughs> I don't think that's a cow. I don't think you want to milk that in particular to uh, produce, uh, well, milk. Yeah, that's not an udder. <laughs> By the looks of things, I... Look, I'd have to get Laura Croft to confirm for us, but I'm pretty sure she would agree that's not a cow. Alright, um... <laughs> what do we have here? Like a worm and like a... Uh, the hell is this? Like a ring? So do we deliver the package or do we peek to see what's inside? I I am going to peek. All right, let's switch it up a little bit. They give me one last option. I'm going to peek inside. I've produced a fire extinguisher by the looks of it. Oh, is that what this is called, Arson? <laughs> am I going to use the uh, fire extinguisher? Therefore, the fire will happen and they can't necessarily take care of it because... Well, Falcon's already used up the fire extinguisher. I'm going to use it on the horse. Yeah, see, I caught fire. I'm over here uh, apparently spraying the horse. Anybody order the old fried chicken? Birds are loose. I stamped one. One of 11 chickens have been stamped. <laughs> well, those eggs indeed have been cooked. Well, I mean, I guess she had the right idea. We kind of spotted him like a, like a cow. Oh, chicken. I wonder if we can actually go back to the old places. That should be something to check out. Oh. Chicken 2 of 11, then we just kick it off over to the horse pen. Yes, we can do come back. Oh, and we should come back because chickens. Oh, I see. There were binoculars, yes, but there was also an eye. Any other chair? Oh, 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 hey. You're trying to be slick, are you? Not on my watch, buddy. Take your chickity ass on over to that pen over there. All right, any other chickens out here in the map? Not that I can see right now. All right, let's go to the split. <laughs> the place is on fire over there, too. Oh, I see a chicken. Beware dog. Get them out of here. I do love that they always kick them in the proper direction where the chick's supposed to go to. That is a nice little touch right there. Oh, binoculars! All right, hold up, hold up. We we got. Well, let's do this one and then we'll go back and uh, take a little look at the. We could use them. We use them here, maybe you're saying. So in here we have a uh, running water. We have a very interesting shape bathtub. For whatever reason. The exposer. Beware of the stock. We have a very interesting choice of art. Seven of eleven. Oh. Ah! Bro, you know what? I think I think I did I like, it did switch it. I think that's what happened with the first one, too. Okay, so let's uh, take a dip in here. But you're blinged out. Hmm. I'll deliver. Oh, you, you got it. Actually, move it. Hey, let me in. Or come pick this up, David. It's a lot of barking now, by the way. Is that a, a leg? That's not like a human leg. I, uh, I 
think that was the dog in pieces in the trash can. That's eight of eleven, eh? Three more. Three more chicken eaties. Uh, let's come over here now that we have the binos. Here we go. The actual hell is happening over there. Okay, let's make ourselves over to the party. Let's see what the party's about. The party's about partially a chicken. Which then makes 9 of 11. And there's also like a radio here. Can't interact with that one. Okay. And that said, I saw a little eyeball around here. A chicken is drowned. Yo, 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 that pigeon's over here peddling drugs. You seen that? It would be the pigeons. If there's any sort of hood bird, it would be the pigeon. Believe me, I know. I grew up in the hood. I still live in the hood. The pigeons are abundant here. Oh, this is a chipmunk. Hanging out with his big nuts. In the memory of, uh, Dog Good. What if he was the dog you're saying of the Siamese twins over there? I mean, it could be. We'd have to understand uh, how time works in this game, I suppose, but... If they're Siamese twins, uh, twins and they have everything about them as, you know, Siamese, and suddenly this dog is over here dead, <laughs> also happens to be a Siamese kid, could you make the connection? Absolutely. Apparently the, uh... The priest likes to uh, indulge himself in a little bit of makeup, does he? Or wait, what if he's just really a clown? I see like a lot of balloons back there. Alright, I'm not sure. He either likes to indulge in makeup or he's a... Uh... I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> DJ what? DJ Dolph? What is this? Dicky! Kind of disturbing. We just need one more chicken. Okay. I'm apparently tripping on shrooms. So, do we deliver this or do we keep it? I am going to. I'm going to keep this one. It was a disco ball. It was a disco ball. And I'm going to put it right here next to the radio. And now I'm just going to get down with the squirrel. Now, what has this done for you guys? He ended up just passing out because never got the disco ball. DJ Fluff. <gasps> Wait, DJ Fluff is dead. Well, that was about it. Nothing else on this one. We're still missing one chicken. Hopefully it's in chapter five here. You'd imagine it would be the end of the demo as well. I like it. There's like different options you could take though. You know, like there's a lot of things that we obviously will Oh, the choices of either peaking or delivering for a fact. <laughs> the, the squirrels over there on the disco ball just going nuts. Along with the uh, hoodlum pigeons. Alright. Let's see what this one here. Okay, we need a key for this for one. Uh-oh. Hey! Wait, wait a second. Who's, who's taking creep shots of me? Okay, um, I, I think this guy has devious ideas in mind. He's also a vampire by the looks of it, because like, if you look at the reflection over there, <laughs> he doesn't have a reflection of him in the closet. Hi. That was him who said hi, in case you're wondering. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, Chicken Eleven is here.
Oh, there's our key. Han. He also wants to, after he's done with her body, he wants to basically have a romantic, like, you know, night. I guess, boat ride into the pond and then he expects to dump her body in the pond. That's <laughs> what I imagine he's trying to over here and do. Is it grim? Yes, but I mean, I mean, I mean, look at this guy. Do you, do you tell me you don't think grim when you look at this? A lot of earthworms too, you know? And then we had that earthworm at the first area, or the second area, where we saw like allegedly what I thought was a ring anyway. You know what? Considering what we know, I kind of want to deliver it. I want to see what happens. I want the worst possible outcome. So whatever perverted idea you got going on over here, my friend. From to Tom. Tom, I wanted to let you. You were supposed to deliver packages, but you did instead. Burned down a barn. Got spotted creeping at the nurse. Killed a snail for no reason. Deprived a worm from its fedora. Oh, it wasn't a ring. It was a fedora, I think. Found a fine pair of binoculars. This is very unhinged, and I love it. I have a link for you guys down below. Just want to check it out for yourselves and do the alternate decisions and see what happens if you don't. Step on every sort of creature alive, such as I did. And one that I keep my eyes on for the full release, because I'm intrigued. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.